Can Ukraine ensure the democratic integrity of its elections? Well, in, in, in general, actually, uh, elections shows this integrity because uh, it's, I would say that for the first time uh, elections are not dividing Ukraine on different parts, east, west or north. So uh, actually the candidates unite people all around the country and uh, I would say that this is for the first uh, time we have such a kind of situation. Uh, the question is uh, what will be after the elections and uh, here uh, the problem is uh, whether the uh, president who will be victorious, he will win in, uh, uh, I would say, right way, uh, justice way. And in this case, I, I think uh, democracy will preserve the state and society uh, at all. Are economic reform proposals of the leading candidates addressing key economic needs? That's a complicated question uh, because uh, uh, if you look to the agenda, it's uh, totally economic. Uh, so only the, the question of war is competing with the economic issues. But uh, the problem is that the proposals uh, not always correspond uh, with the things sh which should be done. I mean that uh, we suffer from the global disease of populism and normally people address the issues uh, which uh, uh, normally people support, but uh, this is not the things which should be done. For, for example, the question of uh, selling the land. Uh, for example, most of candidates, they refuse to raise this issue because most of population do not support this uh, position. So, uh, and, and this also creates some uh, stress for the future president when he proposes uh, some things uh, but the way to achieve the things is not uh, actually what people expect from him. So uh, such kind of candidates, they create uh, a, a problem for themselves in the future when they will be in power uh, and do not meet the expectation of people, they will lose this power very quickly. How will the elections impact resolution of the conflict in the East? Well, uh, I would say that uh, most of um, candidates uh, avoid uh, this question. Uh, why? Uh, well, there is some objective reasons why they do this and some subjective. Uh, for objective reasons, the question is that um, Ukraine is not uh, the place where we can solve this conflict. The resolution of this conflict uh, is not in Ukraine, it's in Moscow or in Brussels or in Washington. Uh, Ukrainians uh, themselves cannot uh, beat the nuclear power state, as Russians is. And the subjective reasons is that actually the situation is very complicated to make some forecasts how it will develop. So uh, candidates normally they cannot have a, a systemic approach what they can do to solve these issues. So in, in, in general, I would say they try to avoid this issue and more focus on some economic problems and less talking on how they can s solve the conflict on Donbass and return the Crimea.